Welcome back to my channel, guys. Now today, we are gonna be bending another four inch offset. The multiplier for 45 degrees is 1.4. If you do not remember that and you have a bender, right there, guys, 1.4. Hmm? So, we've already said a whole lot in the other videos that we really don't need to talk a whole lot about different things. So we're gonna jump right into this now. We're gonna bend this and a four inch offset, 1.4, okay? Now listen to me. This is where it's gonna start getting a little bit more tighter on your bends. So we know that four, that's what we need, a four inch offset, times 1.4 equals 5.6. Now, I said before in a video, on the 22 degree bender video, if you don't, if you haven't watched that, then what are you waiting for? Go back, right? But um, if you've watched it, you know I told you just to knock off the whatever, this point right here, because a lot of the times it's not that important because I'm gonna tell you, um, I tried it here just a second ago. That's why I'm redoing this video. And I tried it and when I put the point six up, which I did, I went, here's what I did, to be exact, because I wanna show you, I wanna be completely transparent. This is what I did, I used this app right here, which for the most part is pretty good. It says a four inch offset, 45 degree angle, it's five and three quarters of an inch distance between the bends. And we're not talking about shrinkage yet, but we will soon. And I bent it, and here's what it looked like. This is the five and three quarter, guys. It towered above the other one over an inch. So, I always hit that tripod. So I wanted to make damn sure that I was telling you guys right on the 10 because, or the 22 and a half, because I thought, you know, I always disregard it. I never have an issue. So I rebent it. So you see there's two bends in this. Looks like one of them. A Viking ships, hing, diving, divergen. So I rebent it right here with the 0.6 gone and look you can see it's flat right along here and it's damn near perfect so if somebody tells you oh you've got to put the three quarter in there <laughs> well i'm here to tell you bro that ain't the way it needs to go uh i do not bend 45s very extremely seldom because i mean look at this right here all right i mean it's pretty crazy right now um we will talk more about the next bend, but I want to show you guys that you do, this is, this is it right here. If you want me to bend this, by golly, I will. I will show you guys right now. But you see, you see the difference? It's, I mean, it's, it's flat and you can see I'm not, I'm not fudging it. I mean, it's, it's flat and it's the same height as that over there. So now what? So let's look at the difference guys between this one and the 30 degree. Okay. Because I think you're going to see, I'm not, I can't hold all these pipes up here but I can hold these pipes up here, right? So you can see, hopefully I can hold this up here. It's getting, like I said, tight. So we're gonna put all the front ends together. All right. And there you go. Actually, let me do it like this because this would make more sense. Do you see what's going on here, guys? I can't really hold that one up there, but do you see how it's getting closer and closer? Okay, I don't think I need to re-bend this one here for you, but this is, this is what I'm talking about. Do you see? Now, of course, it's not level, but anyway, it's. Do you see the difference? How much real estate you're losing? Well, if you don't, wait until I bend the 60, because that one's coming up next, and you don't want to miss that one. All right, guys. If you want to see a rolling offset video, by all means, check out the video coming up. You guys can uh, go right to that video after this video is done. I'll see you in there. If you want to see what happens next, like and subscribe. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.